Hello again. Okay, so um, this number eight. Number eight? Because I just did. Yes, number eight. All right, is be clean. Okay, so these are 10 ways to find happiness uh, from the talk 10 ways to make a difference. Okay, President Gordon B. Hinckley gave some excellent counsel when he said, be clean in dress and manner. The age in which we are living now has become an age of sloppy dress and sloppy manners, but I am not so concerned about what you wear as I am that it be clean. Be sure of your personal cleanliness. Remember that you and the church will be judged in part by your cleanliness and neatness and appearance. That was his quote had ended. <laughs> that last part remember, was just from this, the talk. Okay. So. If I owned a company and I had to choose between two equally qualified people, one of them, sloppy manners, sloppy dress, uh, not even sloppy manners, let's say their manners were equal, uh, equal as well, but tattoos or piercings or something of that s sort versus somebody who dressed professionally, clean cut, well maintained perfectly equally qualified in every other form, I would hire the person that was clean cut. Why? Because that represents me. That represents me. And I would, I'm not the kind of person that's going to go and heavily tattoo or pierce myself. That, that person isn't a bad person. I have no problems with who they are as individuals. What I have a problem with is that their appearance represents me. And my choosing them represents me. And it, it, it basically is saying, I'm okay with my company being represented by somebody who is not a professionally appearing person. Now, on the other hand, it kind of goes back to what I was saying in one of my previous posts about the way we dress for church. Heavenly Father is going to love us either way. But we should try our best. We shouldn't say, well, because I'm being, okay, for example, if you and you got married, you're not just going to suddenly stop looking decent. You're not going to gain a hundred pounds and, and just stop caring and treat your husband with disrespect. If you did that, well, he may still love you, uh, but he's human and he has needs as well, and he would walk away eventually. Maybe. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Do you want to take that chance? On the other hand, your Heavenly Father is going to love you either way, but do you really want to be the person that takes that for granted? That love, that deep, deep love that he has for us, the blessings, the constant care, all of that. Now, how does that apply to being cleanly dressed and smelling good? You represent him. Um, I love this concept because I don't put bumper stickers on my car because if I had a bumper sticker that said LDS, for example, or Christian or coexist or anything that represents another organization or a, a mentality, a, a type of thought process, Christianity or, or positivity. And I was in a really big hurry one day and I cut somebody off accidentally, regardless of if it's accidentally, usually it would be because I don't do that stuff on purpose. But if I did, then I just, by my disrespect of other people, said to others, hey, look, that person with the Christian LDS coexist, um, po politician, whoever it is, those guys are such jerks. All because... I had the bumper sticker on my car. They judged my behavior. They judged whatever I, my bumper sticker said by my behavior. So I'm misrepresenting people. On the other hand, um, I could be positive, but I'd rather be positive by example. You get the gist. The idea is we represent everything that we do. We represent our spouses and our children. Our children represent us. How we raise them is representative of us as well. Um, we represent our church. We represent our job. They represent us. If you're in a company that's unethical, 
that represents you because you were willing to stick with that company. Okay? And that is, do you see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So be clean. Be clean in everything you do, including who you deal with and who you affiliate with because that represents you. All right. That was all for be clean. Two more. Two more and we're going to be done and it's going to be a fun series. And then I have a couple of challenges that I've been asked to do. So have fun.